everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here my name is mary and this is mary's motivation and in today's video i want us to look at a certain bird i know we all know the eagle it is a very talked about bird a bird that we have heard a lot about and this is why i want us to dive into some of the principles which make this bird well known to us and some of the things that we can take away and be able to implement in our lives so that we can have some of these principles which are going to make us so higher and become great in life. So welcome to the channel. The first Thing about the eagle that we can see and one principle that is obvious and is meant to help this bird become one of the most talked about and success stories in the history of birds is that eagles fly alone in high altitudes they fly alone in high altitudes they do not fly with other birds like sparrows hawks ravens and other small birds they fly alone they are flying together as eagles at high altitudes so what does that teach us that teaches us that we should stay away from people things and events that bring us down so as the eagle flies with with its own as the eagle flies with its fellow eagles we should be able to keep good company because we are always told that show me your friends and i will tell you who you are so keep good company keep people who are the same mindset and the same thinking as you so that you can be able to prosper the second principle and thing that we can get from the ego is that eagles have an accurate vision they have a very sharp and accurate vision they have the ability to focus on something as far as five kilometers away no matter the obstacles the ego will not move its focus from its prey until it grabs it so it has a very 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 sharp vision and it can focus on something which is as far as five kilometers away and it will not move its vision on that object or that prey until it captures the prey what can we learn from that so as ourselves as human beings we can learn that we have when we have a vision we should remain focused we should remain focused on that vision no matter the obstacles and in the end we shall succeed so as the eagle remains focused on that prey and does not lose its vision until it captures the prey the same case applies to us we should not lose our vision no matter the obstacles no matter the challenges and in the end we shall make it the third principle or the third thing that we can learn from the eagle is that the eagles love a storm they really really love a storm and why is this when clouds gather eagles get excited and use the storms from the wind to lift itself higher higher and higher above the clouds so when there is a storm this bird gets excited and it uses this storm to raise itself higher above the clouds. So what do we learn from this? We learn that we should face our challenges head on, knowing that this will make us emerge stronger and better than we were before. Face your challenges head on. Use those challenges to help you soar to greater heights and become greater and better and emerge better than you were before. The fourth principle that the eagle uses to thrive and not only survive as a bird which is very well known is that the eagles 
prepare for training. The eagles prepare for training. So, eagles remove feathers and soft grass in the nest so that the young ones get uncomfortable. So once it has given birth to young ones, it removes, when they reach a certain stage, it removes the feathers and soft grass in the nest so that this offspring and these small eagles become uncomfortable. In preparation for flying and eventually these offspring or these small eagles fly away when it gets uncomfortable in the nest. So it removes that comfort, it removes that softness in the nest until these small eagles, these small young ones get so uncomfortable until they eventually fly away. So what does this teach us? This teaches us that we should leave our comfort zone. There is no growth there. So if you want growth, if you want to spar higher, you have to get uncomfortable and leave your comfort zone. Finally, last but not least, is one principle that is very hard and very painful for the eagle to apply. But guess what? After this, it gets even better. So, Number five is that when the eagle grows old, their feathers become weak and cannot take them as fast and as high as they used to. This makes them weak and could lead to death. So they retire to a place far away in the mountain where they pluck out their weak feathers and break their claws and beak against the rocks until it's completely bare. Ouch, that might really, really hurt. A very painful and bloody process. Very painful and bloody process. Then the eagle stays in its hiding place until he has grown new feathers, new beaks, I mean a new beak, and new clothes. Then he comes out flying higher than before. It's a rebirth. It's a rebirth in a sense. The bird has been rebirthed. It has become anew. And what do we learn from this painful and bloody process? We learn that we occasionally need to shed off old habits no matter how difficult it is. Things that burden us or add no value to our lives should be let go. And there you go, guys. Those are the five principles that make the eagle one of the most diverse, talked about and thriving birds in the history, in the history of the earth. I hope that you found this video helpful and I hope that you will apply these principles to also make you thrive and not only survive. And if you liked this video and you liked what you watched, please remember to hit the like button, leave a comment for us telling us how you would want to get more videos on this channel and also do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every single time i upload a new video and until the next one i'll see you guys then